Hello beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? Welcome to your monthly life path and abundance reading. This is for Taurus rising and sun sign. So let's take a look at the overall energy from the Moonology deck. Let's see. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay. So Taurus, look at that. Don't let pride get in your way. I don't think you can see it very well though. Maybe if we put it there. There we go. Okay. So let's see also what the underlying energy is. <laughs> the overall and the underlying. Okay. So let's see. This is from the Oracle, the Moon Oracle. Okay, Queen of the Moon. Okay, Beauty. So Taurus, what are you doing? Are you considering something to make your life more beautiful in some way? All right, so we're going to do the 12 houses, as you can see. We'll talk about the planetary influences that are impacting your reading. The moon card, Taurus. The moon is a co-ruler of Taurus. There is something unexpected coming emotionally. We have Uranus, the planet of surprises. The moon, the planet of what's hidden. But the moon is also everything that you value and it is your co-ruler. So it's dignified there. I feel as though the surprise that you have coming will actually be a surprise in terms of how you may feel about something in your life that's different than the past. In your second house of earned money and income, we have the King of Cups. Something that you're doing, you really want to travel through this sort of emotional time in your life. You would like to do something and earn money in a way that it would allow you to express yourself, perhaps in writing, because Gemini's on the second house cusp, it's communication. But what we're seeing here is you really want to actively communicate how you feel about something, someone. Certainly you may want to earn money uh, with writing. Okay. Ten of Wands energy. So you are feeling a bit overwhelmed here locally in your neighborhood. There's something about your daily life that seems burdensome to you. Many of you will give up these burdens and likely decide to make a move physically, emotionally. But this really also speaks to communication, siblings. You know, you may have someone who wants to move in with you for those it resonates with. But this is, you know, something about home and hearth and actually the neighborhood that you're in. In terms of your physical fourth house, where you actually live, Seven of Swords, you're feeling like you don't really want to bring people to your home, and that's very unnatural for Taurus Rising. Taurus Rising loves to entertain at home because that's where your fun button is. Leo energy is where your fun is. So we're seeing that there's something about your home life that you're you're keeping very private right now. You're not feeling as open and as fun, you know, as you have felt in the past. The Seven of Swords energy, though, also dictates that you should be very, very careful because with the Moon card, with Uranus, there could be either, um, there could be a wolf howling at the Moon here. I would just say secure. Take extra security measures on your home. Your neighborhood, for whatever reason, is causing you some unusual uh, discomfort because a Ten of Wands is a burden too heavy to carry. Again, some of you may simply abruptly decide to move. The Page of Swords, you know, we can see the student there. You know, the student is holding a huge dandelion and letting things fly away. So what we're seeing here in, in your romantic life is there's not a lot of stability. That something, um, this is Virgo ruled energy. There's something about the day-to-day -day romance in your life that's not really holding up under scrutiny because we see the little, the the uh, dandelion, 
you know, particles flying off. So as you look at this, as you study this on this mound of books, as you look at the everyday satisfaction that you're having in your love life, we're finding that you are not feeling as though you have what you want. So Four of Cups energy is the card that says in partnership, you know, but you've you've pretty much hidden the day-to-day -day feelings. Your partner, I think, knows, you know, whoever you're in involved with knows that you feel as though there have to be some changes. You'd like more feelings of just not carrying so much burden in some way. It does show that you have a partner who's trying to protect you. You show that you have a partner that is trying to do something for you, but you have your back turned on the energy that they're putting into this. So let's look and see in your seventh house of marriage and legally bound relationships like with those who represent you. Uh, monetarily, it could be a fiduciary, it could be a marital partner. You know, it can also be a doctor, a lawyer, anybody who has a legal accountability to you and works in partnership with you in your life. The Eight of Wands energy says that you may very well move very quickly, Scorpio energy, to give life and rebirth to something that has not really um, helped you a lot. We get the Nine of Pentacles in terms of how you're feeling, uh, many of you would like to go to an exotic destination. Many of you may decide to move very suddenly. Again, I'm getting that feeling that how you earn money, you will be very successful at it. So we look at this ninth house energy. Many of you have a, a very high level education or you have a high level skill that's going to help you make money. And there is something about this with uh, ninth house energy. So if you're a lawyer, you could be writing interesting novels. If you are a person who wants to earn a lot of money, you'll be very successful also in possibly being a travel blogger, a travel writer, publishing something about travel or exotic places. So when we see the Eight of Wands here, uh, moving rapidly forward in the seventh house. So you may be getting a lot of advice or support from a partner, a very passionate new beginning, something that will help awaken you in terms of this feeling that life just hasn't been going in a way that pleases you. You have a fair level of confusion and what you want is dramatically changing. You are going to respond to that change, Taurus. It's beautiful. We do see here in your house of you know, legal propositions, legal dynamics, we see publishing again this new energy six of wands a victory so if you were looking at a lawsuit that came about perhaps very suddenly or a lawsuit that's been pending you may hear sudden news that you know it's going to turn out in your favor six of wands is a victory it's leo energy it speaks to the fact that you know for those of you who are involved in uh, transforming your life, you're going to be very successful at it. The Five of Wands energy says that in your house of career, there is a lot of competition right now. You're feeling you have this beautiful Aquarius energy. You do have growth and abundance there. You also have a lot of heavy work to do in your career house at this time. But we see Jupiter, the planet of expansion, goodwill, good luck. Uh, you know, we also see that you're going to be the winner here. You know, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that Six of Wands is winning. It is a Six of Wands in the Rider weight deck, which shows a victory after a lot of competition. So whatever it is that you're competing to be on top, it looks as though you're going to have great success, Taurus. So when we look at your love life and we look at this feeling that, you know, things are not really holding up in a daily, day-to-day -day basis for you and the sadness here, 
and partnership, we see that you really feel that a friend or somebody that you thought was a friend may come forward and set your mind at ease by giving you some sort of communication. I feel as though a friend will tell you that maybe you have some illusions or some different ideas than what they're seeing. I don't feel that this will be unsolicited advice. I feel as though you are searching for answers. You want a victory. The burdens are too great. And those close to you, close to you are very likely to give you a lot of support. See how this moon? This person's laying on top of this moon. And so they're going to be very supportive in a very kind, nurturing way. It will be very healing to you, but they feel like, you know, in that realm of friends, acquaintances, and people that you're close to, they want you to heal from basically an illusion that has been a very heavy burden on you. What we look for in the actual 12th house of what's hidden is that you may have an affair or a love relationship going on. We have the star card. Look at this. You may have a secret crush or a secret relationship. We have Venus in the 12th house of secrecy right now. The sun card is there. So what I'm seeing is you may well meet someone during the time of Aries, during Aries season, that is going to be a brand new person in your life you have it could be a hidden crush for you but it really speaks to the fact that you you have this beautiful love for someone that may manifest with this Venus and Sun card when we look at this you know full moon in Leo which also rules romance right Leo is a romantic house we're really seeing that when the full moon in Leo is next here you may manifest this very beautiful relationship again this may be this could even be with somebody who's famous a secret relationship with somebody who's famous but it looks like it's in the mundane it looks very real it's not your I don't see this as your fantasy life uh, it could be for some but I see this as very real because of the two planets of Venus and the Sun let's look and see what the Lenormand deck has for you okay let's see the sun card beautiful energy for you we're going to go sun card oh it's about love look at you you are finding love the tree of life is here what we see is that this there's going to be we have the moon repeating yet again the stork <laughs> and the mice so something is eating at you. You want to have this new relationship. You're very attached to somebody. And we see that your ships are coming in. But this relationship hasn't been easy. We do see that there is a cross to bear. And there is a journey to take before your ships come in. But we see that doubts you know little things make a big difference in this situation for those of you who are waiting for someone to arrive it may be a baby uh, for those of you lucky enough to have that but what's really important that you pay attention to is not to let little things chip away this relationship has challenges uh, of some sort um, but this is something you very very much want because we see that, you know, you really are trying to manifest something very different, very revolutionary. You know, Taurus, Uranus is not comfortable in your house. That's a planet of Aquarius. And it really speaks to the fact that certainly in your life, you're not accustomed to making sudden changes. But now you feel absolutely compelled to do it. All right, we see... The Eight of Pentacles, so you are learning something. You're working on your craft. We see the Six of Pentacles, you may receive a gift. And we see the Seven of Pentacles, you are investing in following a dream. 
and I feel as though what's happening here is that whatever you've invested in has been hidden from others may come boldly into the light. So let's see what the energy is here with the Seven of Swords in your neighborhood or in your home life. We see the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So again, in the area of your life that's all about publishing, I think most of you are working at home, pandemic energy. But we see that, you know, some of the time that you're spending at home, you really feel as though you are manifesting secretly. This is, when we see Seven of Swords, we see somebody who's not sneaking around, but look at this beautiful butterfly here, transforming in the area you know, of your home life in a way that will show up in a bigger way in the near future. But this is a beautiful story for you, Taurus. I'm really seeing that you have decided to change something very dramatic about the way you do your life in essence. The way you work is very specific. The way you earn money very specifically will change very suddenly. And it looks as though you have been writing or creating this sort of love affair either with a person and or with a new career that you've kept secret from the world. You're about to unveil it. You're about to manifest rock star status. Be well, my friends. It's been a joy.